Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and witnessed uh, Natsuki making it up with Fuka uh, because Natsuki had been bullying Fuka throughout the entire like past week or two and presumably even beyond that because we don't know much about their about what they were doing before we met up with them. Anyways, in this episode, more social link stuff. Got quite a lot of stuff that we can level up. We could continue on with Otagiri or Tomachika because both are pretty high up. Tomachika's at five, and so and so is Otagiri. I'll go with Otagiri. Um, what's up, Takuma? I'm glad there won't be a full moon for a while, but still, I can't help thinking about it. Also, that's another thing that we learned in the last episode is that we can confirm 100% that, uh, or at least seemingly, the shadows are connected with the full moons. I like trying to like get an angle where you can see uh, Makoto Yuki's other eye. Because it's weird, because it's covered up the entire time except for like you could slightly be see behind it. And I think they do make jokes in later games about uh, why Makoto has his uh, other eye covered up. Well, suck to be a bully. You have to pretend to be nice so no one gets suspicious. And if someone finds out, you have to be even nicer to them. That's a... Okay. I won't think about that. Hey. Makoto was Fuka's homeroom teacher, right? I just saw him just now, and man, he looked like this world was gonna end. Is this what Karijo senpai meant? She did tell him, this won't be the last you hear of this. This is Otagiri. This is nothing of great importance today in regard to the student council activities, therefore attending will be optional. Do come if you have time. I'll be in the student council room dealing with, the po with that problematic issue. Sorry you went out of your way to stop by, but it was a quick meeting. Everyone left already. It's nice not having those hyenas around. You're not going home yet? There's something I want to take care of before I go home. It's that cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. I have to hurry and narrow down my suspects. So, as you can see, we can't exactly hold a meeting right now. You can leave if you want. The best option to say here is... But I just got here. See. If you're not in a hurry, can you spare a few minutes? I'd like to share something. <sighs> a man without position, honor, or education? What does he cling to as he struggles through life? Sincerity, a man once told me. Do you want to know what happened to that man? Well, TV anchor woman was injured on the job while reporting on a story. The TV station executives deemed it an unfortunate accident. But when a magazine caught wind that they were hiding something, the execs threw the writer under the bus. They said it was the writer who covered up the truth. They turned him into a scapegoat. And now, that man is blacklisted from the TV industry. His life's calling. The same man who taught me the meaning of sincerity. In today's society, the weak are preyed upon by the strong. You can't survive on sincerity alone. As for me, I want to lead an organization that fosters strength. And to do that, order is essential if I want to keep those with power in check. Otagiri spoke with passion. His words seemed truly heartfelt. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Well, seems like a good spot to call it a day. Shall we head out together? I walked part of the way home with Otagiri. Sup, dude? Oh yeah, I hear Fuka's moving into one of the rooms on the third floor, but the girls put their foot down when I offered to help. Said us guys aren't allowed. Anyways, looks like she'll be coming here pretty early tomorrow. Exciting stuff, huh? I loved Yuki's face during that entire exchange with Otagiri. He's just he was just like, damn. Girls said no guys loud, but what if they need more help carrying the heavier stuff? Well, I guess they'll call for, call for us if they really need the help. Hmm? Hmm? What is it? If you're looking for Mitsuru and Takiba, they're on the third floor. It sounds like they're getting Yamagishi's room ready, so I doubt we'd be of much use. Unless, like, they find a cockroach or something. Let's see what they're doing up here. Mm. The room must be covered in dust since no one's used it before. Please don't let there be any cockroaches. I'm sorry. 
I apologize for not being able to go to Tartarus multiple days in a row. Preparing for Yamagishi's move has taken longer than I anticipated. In any case, the floor is reserved for the girls' room. Males are not permitted. Please return downstairs. I will, don't worry. We're going back to Iwatode Strip Mall as, well, as long as I can get in there. Yes! Courage level 5. We're now fearless. Uh, there are six levels in total. Uh, you can rank up five times, but the highest level is level six. So we still have a little bit to go. But we should be there soon. You've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before about everything coming to an end? Well... I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Uh, sure. What's your name? Name? Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is... Pharaohs. I know we'll get along great. I can feel the beginnings of a bond with the mysterious boy, Pharaohs. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Death Archon. Well, it's getting late, so I'm going now. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye-bye. So yeah, we now have an official name for him. We've just been kind of referring to him as that boy that appears sometimes when we fall asleep. Uh, his social link, much like the C's social link, is one that'll rank up automatically as time progresses, so... So you won't need to worry about hanging out with him at night or something like that. Good morning, Yuki. Yamagishi will be living in the dorm with us starting today, and from this point on, she'll be providing us with support in Tartarus all night. Uh, that means I can start joining battles again. That's reassuring. Yes. Yes, you can depend on me. Even if I'm a bit slow starting out, rest assured that I'll catch up to you all in no time. I believe she is actually pretty good, so that is awesome that we actually get to have her on the team. Oh, good. You're all here. I know this is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Special? Does that mean we can expect something good? I don't know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. Alright, so I actually forget if you're able to uh, walk around during the evening today because they're gonna introduce some new stuff. So I'll just say it right now. Uh, today is June 13th in-game, which is the birthday of Baofu from Persona 2. In 2009, when this game takes place, he'd be canonically 42 years old, although I think in the original Persona 3, there was an error where it said he was in his 30s for some reason, which doesn't make sense because Persona 2 was 10 years before this game, and he was in his 30s in those games, so the math doesn't really check out on that one, but it's whatever. Still cool to have that reference to him. Alright, ooh, there's... Ah, oh, right, there's something new that we have to go do over here. First of all, let me decide who we're going to hang out with. I guess it's Chihiro, because we can't hang out with Yuko. There's also Maiko, but... I'll stop saying... I'll stop making mention to those uh, social links outside of school, because you all know what I'm going to say. 
Anyways, Elizabeth, what's up? I can see that you're living quite the fulfilling life between nurturing your bonds and striving for self-improvement. This is less of a reward and more of a gift from me to you. Please take it. I'm looking forward to I it. still cannot foresee the limits of your potential. I look forward to witnessing you grow even further. So I believe if we look into requests, request? we have a whole lot of new ones. So yeah, we just had these three before. Now we have bring me some potent medicine. Oh, yes. I hear there exists a research lab called the Nurse's Office within the learning facility you attend. Experiments, ranging from the scientific to the supernatural, are conducted there all day and night for the sake of humanity's health. Apparently, aside from the ordinary medicine, poten potentially lethal ones are also created there. That said, I would like you to negotiate with the master of the Nurse's Office and bring me that potent medicine. <laughs> For this request, I'll be changing it up and issuing a little quiz. Please bring me a triangular sword. Your hint, it was originally used for dueling. If you need help figuring it out, perhaps you ought to try asking one of your close friends. Sometimes it's most wise to ask others for assistance. I want to look fashionable. I heard that all humans are greatly fixated on their appearances. Therefore, I'd like to try my hand at dressing up as well. If you don't mind terribly, could you please bring me a fashionable item that would suit me? I believe you could find something in a place where people often gather to mingle. I'll be looking forward to it. And finally, we can report by giving a bouquet of flowers. Oh, it seems you've already completed this request. One moment while I please check. Oh my, is this the bouquet of roses I asked for? They're gorgeous, thank you for this lovely gift, truly. I've heard that in the language of flowers, the meaning of a bouquet depends on how many stalks there are. So this bouquet means, heh <laughs> I'll, I'll look more into this matter later. Please take this as your reward. Female Winter Garb. New available one. I want Jack Frost dolls. Three of them. I hear there are Jack Frost dolls in your world. I would like one, no correction, three of those dolls, please. One for me to love, one to display, and one to promote his adorableness. So the way that you get the Jack Frost dolls is you want to walk over here, and there's this crane game that you can play. 200 yen to give it a try. Let's play until we win a prize. Lost a thousand yen there. So yeah, it'll just automatically keep going, and you might lose a lot of money. But yeah, just win three times. Oh, we only uh, played once for that one. So yeah, it really is just a test of luck. Just like real cream games. Oh, we got pretty lucky there too. Sweet. So now all we have to do is run back over to Elizabeth and cash our stuff in. Are you accepting a re Let's hear the result. That physical manifestation of Jack Frost. Yes, no doubt it is a Jack Frost doll. I'm greatly fond of Jack Frost. May I touch it? Oh my, so soft. To be honest, I was conflicted over what sort of Jack Frost request to make. I also considered making you nurture him until he reaches level 99, but I'm glad I chose to make this request in the end, since I've gotten such a cute doll out of it. That said, I would still love to see Jack Frost at his strongest one day. Please take this as your reward. Thank God you didn't ask us to level up, um... To level him up to 99, because... If you'll remember, it took me like... 10, 20 minutes to level up, uh fairy a couple of times in when we first went to Tartarus. Potent medicine, okay, so for this one we just need to make a run over to Edogawa's nurse's office. He'll be in the faculty office at the very end of the hall. Then you just take a left. Or, not this, this one. Right over here, this is the one. <laughs> what brings you to the nurse's office? <laughs> This won't be added to the Edogawa leaderboard because it's not an actual lecture. What? You want some potent medicine? I can't just give you the potent medication whenever you want. Haven't you heard of the pharmaceutical affairs law? Hmm, uh. it's an emergency and you absolutely without a doubt need my medicine? Okay, but if you're lying to me, I'll curse your kneecaps so they'll crack every waking moment. Well, here you are. Okay, then. This is a special medicine I brewed myself, but I don't know if I would call it potent. 
You got what you wanted, so off you go now. I love that he's like, I wouldn't call it potent, and then it's potent medicine in the inventory. I see, so this is the infamous medicine. Let me have a taste right now. Oh my, what an electrifying sensation. Potent indeed. However, its well-balanced components prevent it from being truly lethal. The master of the nurse's office must be incredibly skilled. Please take this as your reward. Steel pipe. I wonder what it would be like if Edagawa and Elizabeth interacted, because she is completely blind to the world and he goes on about the most random stuff. About, like, witchcraft and stuff like that. Alright, so we need to fuse 20 personas, a uh, persona that's level 23 or above, which we can't do right now. We could always uh, fuse Mithras. And we need this in Tartarus. Uh, we can't do this right now. Uh, we need to wait until nighttime to do that. And then look fashionable. I think we also need to wait until nighttime. So that's about all we can do. I guess we're hanging out with Chihiro again. She might actually be the one that uh, I decide to go out with because we're just leveling her up so quickly. Oh, Yuki-san, are you leaving now? Oh, I forgot to read your text message. Bookstore again, it might be lost cause, but still. And I know I could just say no, but I always feel bad saying no to hanging out. No, I should be more opt optimistic. Let's go, Yuki-san. Senpai, hurry! I hope no one's bought that illustration collection. Uh, please still be there. Come on! Wait! Fushimi! They said our class's materials fee hasn't been paid yet. Yeah, I was totally getting grilled in the faculty office just now. Alright! The money... I, um... gave it to Mr. Takenozuka when he came to the office. You were the one responsible for that money, weren't you, Fushimi-san? That means you were the last one who saw it. Um, but I just told you. Well, the teacher told us we haven't paid yet. So doesn't that make this your fault? Um, uh, I... Senpai? The best option to say here is, it's gotta be a misunderstanding. Y yes I think so too. I clearly remember giving the money to the teacher. It has to be some kind of a mistake. Look, just make sure you take care of it, all right? I'm sure it's exciting to have that much money, but you better do something before everyone finds out. Don't worry. We won't tell anyone. Wait! You think I... Uh, th those guys... They must think I stole the money. I... I couldn't stand up to them, but I... I, I didn't take anything. The best option to say here is, we have to do something. Y yes you're right. We have to do something. I have to prove to everyone that it wasn't me. How do I do that? I'm certain I handed the money over. I'll just have to talk to Mr. Takanozuka about this. But what if he thinks I'm accusing him of stealing? Senpai, what should I do? Chihiro is on the verge of tears. I have to do something about this. I can sense that Chihiro is relying on me. I... I'm sorry. I know I can't just expect you to solve everything. This is my problem, so... I need to figure it out on my own. Bookworms. I think I have to pass today. Sorry. Yamagishi-san, are you in there? Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. 
I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo-senpai is strong, too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. Uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on, I think akutsuki sounds gonna be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you. Yukari-chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. Oh. I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. We can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. Combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of Theurgy. Theurgy. Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions and when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh yeah. I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that. It's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. All right. Hold on. Isn't it dangerous to use something like this without knowing how it works? Oh, don't worry about that. It's been well tested and determined completely safe. Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seize is going to have a new lineup after today. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay, I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. And there he goes. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like careless. It's fine. We should just give it a go, like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? Looking forward to this. Man, 
This trump card stuff is getting me so pumped up. I'm gonna be all like, take this, Super Ace Dune Pay Attack! Or something like that. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right. We'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. <laughs> supposed to? Oh, but it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. Now we're testing the prototype out on me, but it feels even better than it did before. It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm, what else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? How do you use it? Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Wait! I wanna go too! I was so ready for this! You can't just put me on standby. We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Uh, gotta keep our ace in reserve. Oh, really? When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay. Got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi, could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. <sighs> it seems different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. We have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh, that new sword looks pretty cool. 
This bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So, the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely explained anything, though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started. All right, with these awesome new costumes and our awesome new weapons, we're going to go ahead and check out our theurgies in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!